Of course, there are several reasons one has to add that can cause prices to fluctuate a bit. But the major and most important culprit for price inflation is the government's printing of new money out of thin air. It is exactly the same principle when the government does it as when we do it at home. And in the Bible's eyes, it is theft no matter who does it. Again, the commandment says, you shall not steal. It does not say, you shall not steal except by government decree. Governments are never excluded from the keeping of God's law. Theft is always theft, no matter who does it. In our text, Isaiah scolds his nation as a whole, but specifically also the specific crimes of their rulers. And among them were all kinds of corruption, like bribe-taking, theft, and in verse 22, he accuses them exactly of this kind of monetary debasement of cheap metal mixed in with the silver coins when he explains your silver has become dross, your best wine mixed with water. This is exactly the same problem. They had silver coins. And these silver coins now, the rulers took those silver coins and mixed them with cheap metals. And one might say, what's the problem with that? The coin is still a coin. Well, that might be true in the very short run, but in the long run, with the additional silver, more coins are now being produced, and more coins are now chasing the same amount of goods, which will cause what? Price inflation. That's exactly the same principle. 